to sun today. You may wonder what, what is wrong with this woman wearing her sunglasses at this hour. You won't believe me. Yes, two days. Saturday, my daughter got married. Very happy occasion. My eyesight was okay. Yesterday, Sunday, I feel a little bit not comfortable. I thought my reading glasses had to be a problem. I was telling myself, I must find time to go and get my eyes checked. I need to change. So I ignore it. Clean my glass until I even broke the load. Yesterday, in short, very funny, around 4 o'clock, I told my staff, uh, I was having lunch with my good friend. A couple of days next door with my two staff. Crystal for you. Then around four o'clock, I said, I'll go home. I have my teeth not well. My call, I nurse for over an hour to try to resuscitate and hopefully it's still swimming. And my dog is not well, so I've got a good excuse for them. I'm going off. Before 30 went off, and then I said, Oh, then I got a call. I'm going to meet up with someone. Then when I was with that, that person, I felt that my eyes is getting. A bit runny, not comfortable, more quickly. Usually when I'm overworked, I'm not enough sleep. I have a strong cup of coffee. My eyes somehow the rain direct and I'm all fine. Back to normal. So this was after half an hour if you work, one hour it really got worse. I said this is very unusual. And then it started to give me more discomfort. At seven o'clock I literally pull myself home and push my eyeballs very wide. Not realizing, looking in the mirror, my eyes was very puffy, and I was wearing this dress in the dark to avoid the, the light. I managed to get back to the house, throw it back down, literally in the nick of time, I could sit down and I told my husband, I said, I'm getting blind. You are so solemn. I said, only God can help me. In times like this, I ask myself questions for me. I only cry for God when I am in big trouble. And I started to pray, what am I going to do? I have all my things still sorted up, just about two, and I say, God, may your will be done to me. So on the road, I call out my niece, who's our pharmacist, I say, this is not me. She says, it's either early kid, but it doesn't sound like it, both pair of eyes, cannot be conjured, cannot be this, cannot be that. Uh, get home, dilate your eyes, Wide open, push open, and to the glass. Literally, I just put it my, and, and my son came over, and I saw so happened he came back early home last night. My daughter in law, they came over, they had to force open. The moment they force open the eyes, they're so swollen that the tears literally roll down the eyes more than a spoonful. So it's very weird, unusual. To the program, send it to my niece. My niece did a prescription, so I got my daughter in law to read the script. He went out to buy, and literally I can't open. They asked me to force open. I just can't open at all. They push open, they, they, and she dropped. It was literally like someone throws that into my eyes and rubbing on it, causing that sort of pain. So I had a strong steroid medication, strong eye drops for everything. So in life, actually, if you're okay, don't take too much medication. So that in time when you're in need, it really works on you. This is my thoughts, my theory all the time. So about 11.30, I was still in severe pain. This was a good test to my husband. I said, you take me upstairs. I'm going to sleep. I come to sleep. I come to sleep. So I said, I get change. And then he gave me a cup of water. His son was perfectly warm. So at times, I think like what I was shared last week, we need our husband. We <laughs> <laughs> one another. We <laughs> one another. So I brought a cup of water. After that, you see, very unusual, the problem. I said, I need painkillers I can't cope up. So he gave me two neurofen, and then after that, I slept <coughs> very comfortably. Pretty I woke up. I said, I must try to open my eyes. Oh, oh, so happy. I could. And I could see my room. And then I went up to sleep. Before the day, I got up. I said, a bit too early to ring up my niece, too early to ring up my son, to tell him that I'm fine now. I told God last night, God, I prayed. This most of I said, God, today, Tuesday, tomorrow, I'm doing a demonstration. If you want me to go and demonstrate, you must heal my eyes. <laughs> but it's your will, not mine. 
So I was quite prepared to accept what the outcome of it because of such a big age in my life that it was so sudden and so unexpected within three hours. So God truly has answered my prayers where he knows that my need is still uh, wanted. So therefore, in short, I feel that I must know how to uh, recognize that 3 plus 10 is definitely uh, blessings from God. Any extra additional day is his gift. And I must learn the extra each and every day to use it wisely rather than just uh, do things that my own heart desire. But I must truly seek for his desire, how he wants me to move on. Because this is a truly an, an episode where I think that it had hit me extremely hard. Uh, I think I've done enough. Thank you. Discuss very quickly and write it down. Someone just write it down. And some, yeah? Okay. Uh, just write down the ingredients for tone. Okay, start from now. One minute on it. What is the name? Salted egg. Yes. Salted egg yolk. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Egg yolk. Yeah. <laughs> and the fourth one will be the shrimp. How many yes. shrimp? <laughs> No, this rice got anything in it. But spices. Soya sauce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Black sauce. Uh, yeah. Black like soy sauce. Soy sauce. Salt. Salt. No need, no need garlic. I did. Uh, I follow this Eddie, man, uh, Eddie Shockman's recipe. But um, this meat, they asked me to cook for 40 minutes. You know? uh, so you see, all day, you should wrap it as far as you make sure that you hold it, the whole thing, the rice is all close up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you hold it for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You shake a bit. You just a bit too long, let's cut it up. Mm -hmm. How do you tie it? Show me, show me. Go one round. Hold it around. Hold it. Pull it a bit tight. Turn it. And then another round. That's all. Why not? Why not? I don't like date knots so I can recycle the string. Oh, you try date knot, you have to cut it to come and cycle the string. Grandma's upbringing very good. Don't waste the string.